Welcome back. This is this video is a continuation of the previous video where I just showed you how to make a scatter plot and described and explained how to describe what you're seeing. Okay? And I said I was gonna do an example from start to stop, but I figured, hey, I already showed you how to do a scatter plot. Let's go ahead and describe this one the perfect way, and you'll see how you need to do it in homeworks or on an exam or just to know how to do it in general because it gets you better at writing statistically and writing about what's going on in the world okay so let's do a little recall the three things that we have to write about in no particular order are strength direction and form and it could be all in one sentence okay in context things show tell okay so this is how the question would be written we've already done the first part we've already did the scatter plot plot now we just need to describe the relationship between student study times and scores and their scores okay so let's go ahead and start off so you just say there is a okay let's talk about strength now they're not all perfectly compact but they're really not spread out that but that bad so for me I would say this is moderately strong there is a moderately strong comma next direction okay as time it goes up What's going on with the scores? As time increases, ask yourself, as explanatory increases, what's happening with the Y? Okay, well, as time increases, the scores also increase, so that would be considered positive. There is a moderately strong positive. Okay, now do you think this is linear? It definitely looks linear all the way up to 10. I mean, definitely there. Now you don't want to get too you don't want to do something like that this 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 uh, 15 and 90 something almost follows the trend it's kind of a little out there but if you think about that it's not enough for that one data point to change the whole form of this so it definitely is linear there is a mildly strong positive linear relationship between now the who and the what in general are always our context the who and the what that's what the things you need to really really pay attention the relationship between the students are the who student okay and what about the students we have two what's because we measure two variables on the cases which are the who between student study times that's our what student study times and scores all right and then I'll add I always like to write this sentence I always like to write this and then I'll write one more sentence in general I'm going to talk about this in general statement you have to write this in general Okay, in general, as student study times increase, their scores increase as well. Okay, so this is a perfect statement right here. That's exactly what the habits that you want to get into. Okay, anytime they say describe a relationship or association, this is something that you want to write. Later on, we might improve it a little bit with evidence using our correlation. Okay, but for now, we just want to write it just like this. Okay, let's talk about this in general. The reason I have to write in general 
and uh, it's kind of because of this guy right here. If see, see this this person studied one and got fifty something, two, and it increased. Now let's forget about this guy for a second. Five. They both increased. Seven was an increase on five. Eight was an increase on seven. Nine was an increase on eight. Ten was an increase on nine. And let's see, I don't, I don't think 15. I think 15 was lower. So now let's go back to this, um, this four right here. And this is why we have to say in general. It's very, very, very important because what happens here is it didn't work for four. Four didn't study that much, but he or she did very well. Okay, they didn't study that much. So this four didn't follow the pattern. So in general, it works. Now, if for every time you go, for every hour that goes up, if the scores would have went up for every single one, then you don't have to write in general. But if it's not true for every single case, you have to write in general. Or you could also write, as student time, as student study times increases, their scores tended to increase as well. Okay, so in general is a good word there, or tended to, tended to increase, okay? Those are some words you have to get comfortable with, it's writing statistically. You know, these are things as graders, read these tests, and if it didn't do it for everybody, then you have to specifically say, well, in general, that's how it happened, okay? So that's it, that's how you describe it. Um, take some time, try a couple examples, write it just like I did, use the format just like I did, and it'll be perfect. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a nice day or night.